This video is designed to help you in the process of removing the control panel on a Whirlpool style dishwasher. Whirlpool also makes many other dishwashers under various brand names such as Gen Air, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Kenmore. This is presented to you by AppliancerepairLesson.com. Here we have a standard Whirlpool dishwasher. The touch panel on this model is on the front of the door, but on several other models you will find that the touch panel is actually hidden and on the top of the door. With the door open, you can see all the screws around the inside door liner that need to be removed. Once all the screws have been removed, lift the control panel up and set it off to the side. Now you can remove the front decorative panel by pulling it up and off. Here we have the control panel that has been set on the ground. Unclip the plastic cover and this will expose the control board as well as the door latch assembly. If you look at the control board closely, you can see various parts. The little white rectangle is the thermal fuse. This is the ribbon connection on the left side of the control board. In the middle of the ribbon connection, there is a push button that you'll need to depress to pull the connection apart. To remove the thermal fuse, just disconnect the two wires going to the thermal fuse. On the left side of the control board, there are two black tabs, one at the top and one at the bottom. You'll need to pry these back so that way you can remove the control board for replacement. The thermal fuse is just clipped onto the edge of the control board and you can pry this off with a flathead screwdriver. Push the thermal fuse firmly onto the edge of the control board until it clips. Now you can reconnect the two wires to the thermal fuse. Here we have the door latch. If you need to replace the door latch, it is very simple. There are two locking tabs on the left and the right side towards the top of the door latch. Just pull out on both locking tabs and the latch assembly will pull off for replacement. For more video demonstrations as well as step-by-step -step tutorials, please go to AppliancerepairLesson.com. If you'd like to try one of our other support options such as forum support or live chat with a technician, just go to AppliancerepairLesson.com.